Hi guys, so it seems that Brexit, at least when it comes to Northern Ireland, is becoming Operation Can Kicking. As the British government via the unelected Brexit minister, Lord Frost, issued a statement on Monday saying that he will unilaterally extend the grace periods when it comes to goods moving from Great Britain into Northern Ireland. I had predicted this, and true to form, the Brexiteers are not really interested in dealing with Northern Ireland, so they will engage in can kicking, extend the grace periods, and let Northern Ireland evolve in a sense. Northern Ireland over the last number of months has been thriving due to the protocol. There has been limited shortages in supermarkets due to the unique position Northern Ireland finds itself. It has frictionless access to both the GB market for exports and also zero barriers to trade with the European Union. While some British-based chains have been suffering minor problems in Northern Ireland, it is nothing compared to the damage Brexit is inflicting upon Great Britain. Lord Frost's statement follows talks with both the European Commission and the Irish government. It gets me thinking some progress has been made behind the scenes. Why? Because of the EU's response to the extension of the grace periods. Shortly after Lord Frost released to the media, the EU followed up with this. We take note of the UK ministerial statement regarding the operation of the protocol on the current basis, including the continuation of existing grace periods. We continue to stress that the withdrawal agreement is an international agreement. The protocol is an integral part of the withdrawal agreement and the agreed solution between the UK and EU to the problems caused by Brexit for the island of Ireland. Both sides are legally bound to fulfil their obligations under the agreement. So nothing new here, typical language the EU has used since the end of the transition period. Our focus remains on identifying long-term, flexible and practical solutions to address issues related to the practical implementation of the protocol that citizens and businesses in Northern Ireland are experiencing. However, we will not agree to a renegotiation of the protocol. The Commission continues to engage constructively with the UK in the interest of all communities in Northern Ireland. This is again reinforcing the point that the protocol will not be renegotiated. I think at this stage the threat of renegotiating was something that the likes of Brandon Lewis, the Northern Ireland Secretary, and Lord Frost, the Brexit Minister, used as a tool to give the impression to the public that they were fighting tough. It is in reality a paper tiger. It goes on to say, our approach to the protocol is based on the achievement of stability, certainty and predictability in line with the objectives of the Good Friday Belfast Agreement and in order to protect the single market. In this way, businesses and citizens in Northern Ireland will reap the full benefits of the protocol and, in particular, the access to the single market it provides. That is all good and dandy, reinforcing a point that is fully understood in the business community in Northern Ireland. Now we get to the most important part of the statement. It says, The Commission reserves the right in respect to the infringement proceedings. At present, the Commission is not moving to the next stage of the infringement procedure launched in March 2021 and is not opening any new infringements for now. Why? The last time Frost and his government breached the withdrawal agreement, the European Commission started legal proceedings. Then they agreed to suspend them. Frost and Johnson are extending the grace periods again and the EU is doing nothing. Now, if I was a Brexiteer, I would say that the EU is afraid of Boris Johnson and Lord Frost and they have been put back in their box. But reality is quite different. The EU and the UK understand that Northern Ireland is shifting away from Great Britain when it comes to trade. If there are fewer and fewer goods moving from Great Britain into Northern Ireland, then fewer checks are required. This removes a headache for Brexiteers in Great Britain. They don't have to deal with Northern Ireland and the fallout of Brexit. Isn't it interesting how Brexiteers in Great Britain have stopped talking about the Northern Ireland Protocol and getting rid of it? They understand that Northern Ireland will continue to move further and further away from Great Britain and closer and closer to the Republic of Ireland and the EU as time goes by. They understand this because it's baked into Brexit. Kick the can down the road another few times and we don't even need to talk about the Northern Ireland Protocol. A side note, local elections are taking place next year in Northern Ireland and it's likely that pro-Northern Ireland Protocol parties are going to win a majority. This will likely continue to quieten the noise surrounding the protocol. But why is Frost and others complaining about how it undermines Northern Ireland's place in the UK? 
Actually, they haven't said this in Parliament or in any select committees. They have told the public via the likes of the Express or the Telegraph, which means nothing. The public have been told that Brexit is good for the Union, is good for trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But the Brexiteers don't care about Northern Ireland, and they never have. Ireland knows this, the EU knows this, and the Tory party knows this. The extreme Unionists and Loyalists in Northern Ireland have yet to get the memo. So expect to see more can kicking in another few months time, unless something dramatic happens. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think, as always your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big big thank you to all of my patrons, you ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?